still out. But he'll live. As long as he lives long enough to tell us where Vega is, I'll be happy. Do you love nothing? I love to win. Our deal is done, Blunt. Oh my god! What's happening? No! No! It's a fantasy! A vision! Cain has the Tacitus. Vega's base is 760 clicks south. The ion storm have knocked out our satellites. He pulls his power from an old dam nearby, which is heavily protected by a large base. Taking out the dam and the power plants first will neutralize enemy air defenses. Well, our approach to Vega's fortress would be easier. Are you with me, Ava? Hello, this is Dodger J, back with some more Let's Play Tiberium Sun. So, for the third time in a row, we have the pattern in the GDI campaign of two missions, one of which is an optional pre-deployed submission, and the other which is the main mission, a full base building mission. Uh, that's been pretty fun so far, so no complaints that we're doing it again. Let's go ahead and get the description for each of these so we know which one is the submission, as we're finally moving into destroy another of the Nod generals to take out that drug-dealing animal, Vega. The large dams that power Vega's base lie in this sector. Destroying them will temporarily drain power from his base. To aid you in your objective, attack his island facility before he can bring new generators online. The dam can be destroyed by disabling the two regulator stations in this sector. GDI air support will be available if you can find a way to contact them and confirm your target. Alright, so that's obviously going to be the submission, and then the main mission's description says... Vega's base is secreted on an island in this sector. Reaching it will be difficult, as there is only one overland access. Your best chance of success lies in the use of amphibious APCs to land on the island and penetrate Vega's defenses. Once on the island, destroy Vega's facility and command center. All right, well, Nod just has two major uh -huh. generals, Vega and Slavic, and it's time to see if we can put an end to one of those two. Let's begin the operation to take out General Vega. Oh god, that? It's clown speed, no. All right, uh, we're obviously going to want to uh, reset things to a more reasonable speed for this. Okay, that is much more reasonable. We are now joined by my cat, who is sitting in my lap, purring up a storm, as she does. He's very happy. Alright, so this is an interesting map. As you can see, looking at the mini-map up there, it's very tall. A very thin, very tall map, kind of, kind of vertical. And this is another one where you kind of have to... Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to be crossing that bridge then. Where you kind of have to make use of limited forces, uh, make good use of the rock, paper, scissors mechanics, do a little micro, use some tactics to get intelligently through the map. You periodically get reinforcements. There's sort of two main routes, I think, that we can use to clear this map. One of which is quite difficult and the other of which is maybe a little bit more of a secret route and it is a lot safer of a way to clear the map. This time, rather than showing both routes, I'm pretty much just going to do the more secret, safer way. Gingerly making our way forward. Our sight radius is so limited. Makes me a lot more cautious. Okay, subterranean APC just uh, burrowed on top of that plateau. Okay, speaking of the rock, paper, scissors mechanics, we've got some rocket soldiers coming forward. We're going to want to deal with those using our infantry and not the Titans. Yes, 
All right, and then you use it. Oh, there's okay. That guy was still alive. I thought he was dead. Oh, okay. So as soon as we open fire with the Titans, some guys come out. Take care of them. All right. Oh, and the other guy's coming back. He had changed his mind, and now he's changed his mind again. Indecisive fellow. What are you, what are you doing? Did I order them to do that? Maybe I did. I sure didn't mean to. Okay, idiots. Outrange the turret. They'll just go into its range. So, I mean, this is basic stuff. Use infantry to fight the enemy infantry because the titans are kind of bad at it. Then use the titans to outrange the turret. So, I mean, it's nothing mind-blowing, but... You do have to think about it, be a little tactical, and it's surprising how often people just don't do the obvious taking advantage of the rock, paper, scissors mechanic and just kind of try to bulldoze their way through it. Is he going for a crush? I'm not sure if trucks can crush. Obviously they would be able to in real life, but I'm not sure they can in this game. Alright, so that's a full heal, and we should probably take out this Hand of Nod while we're here. Alright, let's get the Titans involved. I think we can speed it up now that we've taken out the opposition. Oh, an enemy. Didn't see him amidst all the fire and debris. Okay, and by doing that, we get a drop ship, which is going to deliver some much needed reinforcements. A couple of Wolverines. Okay, three Wolverines. Quite welcome. What the heck? Oh, apparently a guy snuck up out of my vision on the other side of this cliff. Got off a couple of cheap shots, but. His only reward was death, so it didn't end well for him. Okay, that's a Devil's Tongue Flame tank. Um, this is, again, a little bit heavy. I do like this theme, but not while I'm doing like an infiltration type thing. How about heroism? Oops. There we go. Alright, so if that Devil's Tongue surfaces on our infantry, it can insta-kill them with its fire. But instead, it's coming there. Alright, infantry, pull back. Let the Titans handle it. The Flame Tank is going to be really bad at fighting the Titans. Okay. We took care of it quite easily. Is there anything of interest down there? I thought this would be kind of a loop, but it appears that it's... Oh, okay, never mind. Battle speed, we're being attacked. Okay, I thought this was going to be kind of a loop, but it's not. I want to see if there's anything interesting down in that little pit. I don't think we're on any kind of clock for this mission, so we can take our time exploring the map. We can admire all the detail put into the terrain. I mean, oh, what's going on? Okay, battle speed again. So there's nothing down here, so it's pointless. Alright, luckily this rocket soldier's rockets are just hitting the ridge here. But uh, yeah, look at the incredible amount of detail that was put into this. Like, this was quite lovingly crafted and it looks great. I always like to appreciate when the map designer has gone to tr trouble to put in lots of artistic flourishes and just make everything look nice. They certainly did for this map. Oh, interesting. Multiple potential routes, though that looks like it might just be an immediate dead end. Our Wolverines are the fastest units we've got right now, so they're the best scouts. And yeah, that's just an immediate dead end. Oh, okay. Guess that's just based on entering this area. Alright, a couple disc throwers, a couple more Wolverines. Three more Wolverines, actually. I'll take it. We've got quite the Wolverine force at this point. Get wrecked. 
A medic would be nice to restore our infantry, but... Alright, um, okay. Just a couple of guys, nothing we can't handle. Though we are down a man. Oh no you don't, get wrecked. Oh, okay, now this is a problem. Just, we don't have time to be tactical about this, just charge and take those out ASAP. Okay, our losses weren't too bad. What is this? Urban storefront. Half destroyed. Okay, so we will get reinforcements, I think, by destroying stuff up on this plat. Okay, did one of my guys just kill himself? He must have suicided by throwing a disc right into this wall. Ah, uh, disc stories. They're kind of terrible. That kind of thing wouldn't happen if it was just light infantry. It's frustrating when your guys die for literally no reason other than bad AI. Like, I shouldn't have to babysit my guys to the extent of carefully positioning them while destroying a helpless target that can't fight back. But it is what it is. Alright, I think there are some tick tanks waiting for us up here. So I'm going to want to lead with the infantry, who are the least vulnerable. The wolverines are kind of the most poorly suited to this. Okay, run, get the wolverines out of this fight. Leave it to the infantry and the titans. Alright, one of our titans is taking a lot of damage. Alright, just get everybody in there. Okay, we got him. Now these SAM sites are apparently offline because they make no attempt to shoot down this dropship. Okay, that's a devil's tongue. Looks like he just fried a couple of my guys. That was awful. That felt a little unfair, but oh well, we'll make do. Okay, now I'm going to make a scum save here because next up is the key to taking the secret much easier route through this level. But it's kind of RNG dependent and sometimes it just doesn't work. Like, not through any fault of the players, but it just, I don't know, bugs out and doesn't work properly. So what we're going to want to do is destroy this SAM site. Okay. That causes this dropship to come. But this SAM site is operational for whatever reason, and they're going to try to shoot down this transport. We need it to get an engineer before it's destroyed. It needs to unload an engineer. And it did. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes it just gets destroyed before the engineer can unload. But it worked. And so we use him to repair the bridge, and that's going to be our back door through this mission. Oh, okay. We're being tagged by some guys who are hiding in uh, Yee's Discount Liquor. I can imagine a bunch of Nod forces just getting liquored up. When they're supposed to be on duty. Seems like the kind of thing they'd do. Alright. So the alternative route, the more direct route, is to cross this bridge. Uh, it makes for a more difficult mission. I think there's a bunch of cyborgs here. Some guys ambush you in a subterranean APC. And I believe there's a bunch of tick tanks in turret form perched up on a plateau. It is possible to fight your way through all that, but it is more clever and much easier to just take this back route. You just need the RNG to work in your favor so that that transport unloads the engineer before it gets destroyed so that he can repair this bridge and you can take this back door. We just destroy that destructible cliff go through this tunnel and this tunnel kind of magically comes out up here all right you can see it's basically taking our guys under the water 
I don't know if a tunnel that goes under the water is the best idea, but I suppose it's possible. I'm pretty sure there are underwater tunnels in real life. So sure, we'll give him that. And this provides a back door into the enemy base. Are all my infantry dead? Oh no, I have a couple left. Oh right, there's my engineers. I I'm kind of going to want them. Oh god, I forgot all about them. We're going to have to... Also, I don't think I actually want to destroy the enemy harvester, now come to think of it. Alright, so since I forgot about my engineers, um, that was a bit of a mistake. Alright, where are they? Okay, here they come. Went up to clown speed so they could catch up. Because we're going to take this back door into the enemy base, and we're going to capture it. Okay. Everybody except the Titans, stay away from the laser. Let the Titans outrange it. Whoa! Okay, that was a misclick by me. Okay, Titans, this is up to you guys. You, idiots, no. Wrong. Idiots, no! What are you doing? Did I order that? I mean, I know I ordered them to come a little closer, but I didn't think I ordered them to come that close. Good lord. Just take this stupid laser out. All right, and now the rocket soldiers. Let's bring the engineers forward. I have two things I want. Their construction yard and their refinery. Now, where is their harvester? I haven't seen it for a while. I want to I want to capture the refinery with the harvester inside or we're not going to be able to properly take over the space. Did I accidentally destroy the harvester altogether? I didn't think so. I think I just damaged it. Huh. Well, how much Tiberium is in these silos? A bit. Anyway, now that we've taken this back door into the enemy base... We can start working on destroying the dam. Yeah, maybe I accidentally destroyed the harvester, I don't know. I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't matter, it won't cause us to not be able to win the mission. Uh, let's grab their other silo. Alright, guys, blast... Okay, first of all, back off. And once you've made some rooms, you're not going to kill yourselves. Uh, it's hard to just select the Titans. Okay. Blast a path through... Oh, we can make our own refinery now if I just sell the hand and nod. There. Now it won't matter that I somehow screwed up uh, capturing the refinery with the harvester inside it. Alright, now just get this next wall segment. Yeah, I like doing missions with these kind of clever secret ways, like this, instead of just trying to barge through the front where there's really heavy resistance. Just coming in the back door, through that tunnel, hitting those destructible cliffs, taking over the enemy base. Good fun. I love using tactics like this. Oh, is that a... yeah, there's a guy. There, he's dead. There we go. Now we actually have a functioning base. Pretty awesome. Not a huge Tiberium field, but there's enough there we could build some stuff. Now, if we were of a mind, we could eventually harvest enough Tiberium to build up a big force to wipe the whole map. But I'm not going to bother. That seems inefficient and wasteful to me. Just do your objective, and then get out of there. Okay, here's one part of the dam. Can we target it from here? Looks like not enough of it is revealed. 
All right, so we're gonna have to make our way around. And actually, let's uh, uh, is there a hot? Yeah, if I hit T, it just selects all units of that type. Okay, great. Easier way to select all the Titans. We need to take out that laser from out of its range. Okay, and this guy gets confused. He's gonna attack the wall instead. I mean, I guess in his defense. He's trying to destroy that wall segment because he wants to stand there to shoot the laser from out of range. Okay, there we go. Now let's cross the bridge. Uh, let's destroy this hand and nod. Actually, it's kind of in the way. Kill the one guy. All right. I'm going to put my own hand and nod there, and I don't think we're going to really have time to build a big force. But I'm just going to queue up a bunch of cyborgs. Alright, so if we cross the bridge, what well, we might... Oh, okay, we're getting reinforcements. Dropship comes in. Alright, Titans. Okay, some guys across the bridge realize that things are not going well. So they come to try to put a stop to it, but it's too late. Okay, I think we can just take out the dam from right here. Oh, okay, some real resistance is coming. That's quite a few rocket soldiers. Let's get a cyborg down there. Alright, and our titans will continue destroying the dam from right here. Uh, can you stand there? Oh, good grief. Maybe he can't quite hit it from there. Alright, well that's fine. We'll just have them destroy it from there now that it's targetable because I've revealed enough of it. The dam is tough. It takes a lot of shooting. Alright, you can see it's breached now. We have a guy just standing there doing nothing. Alright. Not you. Well done to us. Alright, so yeah, that's a nice, sneaky, efficient way to complete that mission. It's easier than fighting your way through all the defenses by taking the direct route. I would have showed that off, but there's a chance I would have lost everybody, because there's fairly heavy resistance, and I didn't want to take forever building up a giant force with my captured base to do a map wipe for no real reason. Alright, so we did that in 20 minutes. I'm going to see if I can... Also get in the next mission in under an hour and do both of these in the same video. Uh, if it takes too long, then I'll just split it into two videos. And if you're watching this, you already know, which I did, by uh, just looking at the link of the video on YouTube.